All right. Greetings, programs. My name is Jeff. You can call me Jeff. Welcome to Tron 2.0. In the theme of nostalgic games for November, I'm playing a game that I actually had to put the disc into the computer. So it's going to be a bit of an experiment tonight to see if the game actually runs, how well it actually operates. Um, I did some tests. I did a little bit of a test recording. I didn't get to any combat or anything, so we'll see how the game actually works out. And uh, I'll have to come up with a backup if it doesn't work for tonight. But hey, it should be fun. So this game is supposed to be, when it came out in 2003, it was uh, 21 years after the original movie came out, and it's supposed to be a direct sequel. So it was supposed to be, you know, canon. Um, then the, the second movie came out, Tron Legacy, and I'm not sure how well it fits in, or if it does at all. Um, in this one you play as Alan's son, whereas the Tron Legacy movie was all about Flynn and... Flynn's son. So, maybe they work together? I don't know. But, we're gonna get started, and there's, um, there's a bit of cinematics here at the beginning, um, so we'll just kind of sit back and watch the show for a little bit, but it sets the stage for the story. Um, I've got it on a, like, stretched screen. I tried to make it the actual aspect ratio for you guys, so enjoy. Here we go. New game. Uh, we'll play on normal. Play it on insane. And difficulty begin can be changed at any time. So here we go. Unauthorized user. Program initialization. Press any key to continue. Please. I've got to get back to my routing. I'm already behind on my deliveries this cycle. You have privileges I require. I'm just a simple email script. I... I know what you are, and I know what you will become. Simple email script, I said. What is your function? I serve Lord, my master user. Meanwhile, in Jack, the real world... do you world, think your dad would mind if I had some of his popcorn? Huh? Oh, sure, have all you want. Yeah? I'm a little Flip surprised phone. you turned down the level 6 programming position. Look, Dad, I know you're disappointed. Damn right I'm disappointed. I pulled a lot of strings to get you that offer. I'm happy making games. Life is short, Pop. I plan to enjoy it. <sighs> you sound like Flynn. Hold on, son. Mathria, run a security diagnostic. Yes, Alan One. Results. A virus has entered the system via email. Lab drives one, two, and four infected. Jet, we'll have to continue this conversation later. This is a restricted area. You just can't come barging in here. Dad? Get your hands off. Dad, do you hear me? Mathria, where's my father? Alan 2, I require immediate assistance. What do you mean? Contingency protocol activated. Laser activity in five seconds. Mathria, stop what you're doing. Put on goggles. It's exciting. Clear digitizing bay.
some of the voices in this were the original actors from the original Tron movie. Like, Alan is voiced by the original actor. Mathria is voiced by, I think her name was Laura? Um, she was Yori in the digital world. Cindy Morgan. Hey, Wally. Hey, thanks for claiming first, Nutmeg. Mathria, what did you do? So you are a user. Fascinating. All right, so use number keys to make selections. We're going to look around. All right, over there is the bite. Let's talk to well, that user. Now that you've been digitized, you can think of me as your tour guide to the world inside the computer. There are a few crucial functions you'll have to learn if you hope to survive the system. I'm sending you a help file. You can view help files at any time by pressing the number eight key. Study. Oh, sorry, I cut you off there. Help files are brief descriptions of common objects encountered in the Tron universe. When a new help file has been added, as an icon with a question mark will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. Well, in the help file browser, help file topics are listed in the order acquired. White indicates the currently selected help file. Yellow indicates a new help file that has yet to been opened, and black indicates default eight. Um, you can get out by pressing escape or the action key. Study them closely. Closely, they typically contain important information. Yes. When a program yeah. has something to say, okay. a talk icon will appear above his or her head. To initiate the conversation, approach the program and press the action key. Try it. Default key F to activate an object or initiate a conversation. All right. There's a help file on how to talk to people. Okay. Walk up to you. Six more Listen. subdirectories have been compromised. The corruption managed to slip past our scheduled scans. Obviously an inside job. Whoop, too close. To continue your training, activate the help programs that display the talk icon. Ah, you? Tell me about player movement. The basic player movements are forward, backward, strafe left, strafe right, crouch, and jump. The mouse is used to look around. You can also look around corners. Here's a help file with more information. That concludes the basics. So it's, oh, crouch is C, jump is spacebar, lean left and right, and I have toggled run on, so you hold shift to walk. Um, enemies will react to sounds, so walking and crouching will be better for sneaking. You can jump and crouch. Sneak, 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 sneak. Ha, booyah! Tell me about my status display. The status display shows your objectives and tasks. Press the tab key to see an example. Here's a help uh, file with more information. Ah. Uh. So do I read the help file or the tab first? When you have a new objective or task, the objective's updated icon looking in the left-hand side of the screen will appear. Press the status display key, which is tab, to display your current objective and tasks. The overarching objective is listed at the top of the status display. Below it is the individual tasks you have to perform. Once a task or an objective is complete, it's removed from the list. Okay. So tab. Oh, you hold it. So we're following Byte's instructions and the individual tasks there are talk to the next help program and learn about build points. Right now I'm jet version 0.0.0. .0. 
I'm like a pre-alpha. Tell me about build points. As you gain experience in the digital world, build points will be added to your version number. At every milestone, you can use the build points to upgrade your performance ratings. Okay. Another awarded for completing mission tasks, acquiring build points, increases your version number. When you collect 100, the first digit in your version number will increase. For example, version 1.0.0, indicating that you've reached <clears throat> a new milestone. Reaching a new milestone will allow you to increase your performance rating. Press the F1 key to manage your performance ratings. F1. Da -da -da -da. Okay. So this will be like um, total number of build notes acquired across all missions. There's a hundred altogether. This is where we can upgrade our stuff or um, go for more uh, different types of weapons or upgrades and that kind of stuff. Right now I'm an unauthorized user altogether, I guess. Name of the current mission is unauthorized user. All right. Press the F1 key to access your performance ratings and distribute your initial set of build points. Oh, I just got upgraded. A help file with more information. Version 1.0.0. Just read the help. In addition to completing a mission task, picking up a build note will also increase your build points total. Each level contains a finite quantity of build notes. A counter in the upper left corner displays the total build notes acquired versus the total build notes available in each level. There are a total of 100 build notes available in the game. The global build note counter can be found in the subroutine menu, which is F1. To pick up a build note, face the build note while near it and press that default action key F. Oh, there was another help file there. And performance ratings. Huh. Increase or decrease your performance rating. Click on the arrows. Um, light meters indicate the amount uh, performance rating. A surging a performance rating will give you a significant boost in performance. So there's health energy, weapon efficiency, transfer rate, which is the speed at which uploads and downloads take place, and processor increase the speed of your port, defrag, and disinfect procedurals. So, F1. Nope. No, yeah. There we go. All right. So we have... I guess this is our, it's our level. Look at that, version 1.0.5 already. So our health. Okay, yeah, this bar is how much upgrading we can do. I guess we can put one in each. Um, some of these, and that's one thing I remember about playing this game is I don't, remember actually how far I got in this game because they throw so much at you right at the beginning and then you just go. And I could always go back and read the help files, but you know, as a as as this being one of like my first RPG style FPS kind of games, I had no idea what I was doing. Mathria has just requested an IO node link with you. Oh, really? Go in here. Tell me about IO nodes. IO nodes are how programs communicate when not in the vicinity of each other. IO nodes, like most objects, require a permission set to activate. The segmented ring surrounding the reticle will indicate what permissions are missing. To activate an object such as this IO node, face the object and press the action key. I believe that's it. You do not have the proper permission set to activate this object. This you can see user. that. I got the two red marks. I need those permissions. So help file. 
segmented ring in the center of your screen will indicate which permissions an object requires to be activated. Mission, miss, mission, permissions are marked as red and permissions that you already have are marked in light blue. Your complete inventory of permissions called a permission set is displayed as light blue in your lower HUD display. Oh. And IO notes, I didn't read this one. You just walk up and hit F and talk to like Mathria or programs not in your vicinity. I didn't even notice I've got the disc down there between my health and the energy. And what's access an IO node and receive Mathria's message with her to help for more information. Where did Byte go? Byte over here? No. Over here. There you are. Um, ah. Activate this Look at that. program to learn about archive bins. Archive bins, okay. Tell me about archive bins. Tell me about archive, archive bins. bins. can contain permissions, emails, help files, and subroutines. Like most objects, they require a permission set to activate. To activate, face the archive bin and press the action key. One useful note, an empty archive bin exhibits no item nodes. That about covers it. So there's one item in that archive bin there. Let's see what happens when I tab out of the game. All right. So yes. Like you I... don't have the proper permission set to access this archive bin either. Wait, I've got it here somewhere. Oh, I didn't go. walk up to now it yet. You have the proper permission set. Activate the archive bin. You can see I have the light blue that matches. So there was a help file I didn't read. Archive bins. So the red ones are subroutines, the green ones are emails, and the blue ones represent permissions. If no item nodes are present, the archive bin is empty, so don't even bother trying to open it. Let's walk up and hit F. To download an item from an archive bin, select the corresponding number on your keyboard. Oh, look at that. It, okay. So down there in the corner, it tells me it's going to cost 10 energy to download it. I have 55 of each there. There it went. Alright, so that gave me the second permission that I needed to go talk to Mithria. Follow me back to the IO node. You now have the correct permission set to receive the message from Mithria. I'm coming! Whee. To activate, face the IO node, then press the action key. Okay. Connecting to IO grid. Alan 2, you must attend your disk before proceeding. What do I need a disk for? It will be your primary weapon against the corruption. Node deactivated. That's it. Quick message. Handling a disk is tricky. I strongly suggest a quick combat tutorial. Follow me. Combat. All right. Mathria has prepared a practice arena for you. The data stream leading to the arena is on the other side of this force field. Unfortunately, the binary bit operating this socket is missing. Uh-oh. Can't go through the force field. Oh, hello. Tell me about energy transfer. Periodically, binary bits lack energy to operate properly. To transfer energy to a bit, face the bit, then press and hold the action key. When the meter displayed in the HUD fills up, the transfer is complete. Okay. So there was a help file I didn't read. Binary bits. are used to operate socket switches. To activate a socket switch, face the binary bit while near it and press the action key. It's common to find a socket missing its binary bit. Look around, there's a good chance a powered down binary bit is located nearby. To transfer energy to a powered down binary bit, press and hold the action key until the bit comes to life, also indicated when the colored meter on the screen puts up. All right, look around. Hey, look, I looked around and there it is. <laughs> All right, so walk up to it and it's gonna be 30 energy. 
Oh, cool. The meter down there shows me how much I'll have left, too. Hold it. Cool. So you're going to walk over here and talk to me now? Tell me about binary bits. Binary bits are simple on and off switches. To activate an object such as this binary bit, face the object and press the action key. Now activate the bit to lower the force field. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Can I turn it off again? No. Okay. Data stream IP. Data stream to combat training area. It's two-way. That's nice to know. To be transported to the combat training arena, step into the data stream. Is there a help file on that? Nope. All right, here we go. I'm just wondering if it's going to have me put in disk 2 at some point. Because there is a disk 2 in here. Here's where we get to the combat. We'll see how well this works. Of course, if it goes wrong, I can always blame the, uh... Blame the old hardware here. To pick up your disc, face it, and press the action key. This is a momentous occasion. ID disc primitive. Number... I am Kalidorn. Number zero one, jet one 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 zero. Nice. All right, so you can skip the combat training if you've played the game before and remember everything. I do not remember everything. I'm going to continue the combat training as recommended. All right, so let's hope for Illegal program termination. Warning, do not attack civilian system programs. The civilian system program is derezzed. You will fail your mission due to an illegal program termination. When equipped with a weapon such as your disc, your reticle in the center of your screen will indicate which programs are civilians, as in figure one, and which are your enemies, figure two. So the big white one is the don't do it. Yes. Okay. Uh, complete the combat, combat, combat disc training. What are we doing? Good. Now, before we get started, use the patch routines to restore your health and energy to full capacity. Oh. Activate the health program when ready to start the combat training. Okay. Free refills. Nice. Around here, fill up our energy. I think this is the kind of stuff that our um, transfer rate helps. Like that, or um, when we downloaded the permission before. Uh, tell me about tell using me about the disc. Using the disc. It's good practice to save your progress before entering into combat situations. Please do that now. Step onto the battle ring when ready. NCOM will not compensate over time due to loss of... Quick save. Nice. Okay, notice there's, um, up in the top left, there's three of those uh, upgrade notes I can go for. Let's see, save and load. It's highly recommended to save your game often. Yes. To quick save your game at any time, with the exception of when you are racing light cycles, press the F5 key. To quick load your quick save, press the F9 key. All right, don't do that by accident. If you want to save multiple games, press the escape key to access save game and load game menus. Now let's do that. Patch routines. Oh, cool. Infinite patch routines contain an infinite supply of energy. Okay, so they're usually limited. Health and energy. Okay. 
So I can go in here and save a game. Okay. Haha. -ha. Okay, um... What am I supposed to do? Just step in now? I guess. To throw the disc, click ah. and release the left mouse button. To recall the disc, click the right mouse button. To steer the disc in mid-flight, click and hold the left mouse button. Moving the mouse will influence the path of the disc. To use the disc as a melee weapon, click the left mouse button while holding down the control key. To block an incoming enemy disc, press the right mouse button. Practice using the disc against this combat training program. Hold on a second. You threw a lot of commands at me. Auto guidance by quickly pressing and releasing the fire key. The disc will be automatically guided towards the enemy target. Manual guidance. Manual control the disc is achieved by pressing and holding the fire key while steering it with the mouse. It didn't seem like that worked well, but I'll try it again. Recall and block to recall the disc or block enemy discs. Press the disc recall slash block key, which is right mouse. And melee to do the pressing the disc attack modifier key, which is control. While pressing fire, you can perform a disc melee attack. Okay. Ouch. Ah, too slow. Block? Nope. There, I blocked him. When a program is derezzed, a core dump containing energy, health, and quite often permissions and subroutines is left behind. If you wish nice. to continue practicing, activate the switch to res in another combat training program. Enter the data stream when finished. Okay. Yeah, I want a little more practice. So, core dumps. When enemy programs are deep resed, they leave behind core dumps. Core dumps contain energy, health, and often permissions and or subroutines. This is all stuff Byte said. Yeah, Byte. The energy and health available in each core dump will diminish over time until it eventually reaches zero, causing it to disappear. You gotta retrieve it quickly. Core dumps that contain inventory other than energy and health exhibit small pyramids inside the glowing orb. Pick up a core dump, face it, and press the action key. Okay, so is this the switch? Ooh, I need some health. I would like some health. Do I have to go all the way over there? Can I jump? Can. Okay. I'm guessing that's the switch? No? You said to activate a switch. Is it outside? You're a civilian. Don't harm civilians. Anybody see a switch? Byte said I could activate another. Activate a switch to spawn in another program. Practice on. Where's, where's the switch? Oh. Walk up and press the action key. Ah, that still hurt. A little sooner. There. A little sooner.
Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna die in practice. Cool. And permission seven. I guess I didn't need to download that again. Alright, I still want to try and get the hang of this a little better. Uh, let's quick save again. And let's get one more in here. See if I can get through without getting hit. That was a little better. We'll give it a shot now. Get some energy and stuff back. All right. Let's get out of here. Five build points added to version number. Nice. Message, what did that say? I have a feeling that was important. Oh, there's some enemies in there. Green guy. Careful. The corruption has breached this sector. Follow me to the exit, user. Ouch. Escaped sector before succumbing to the corruption. Alright, we're going this way. Ow! Corruption has fragmented block 22. Whoops. Code alert. Okay, that's a civilian. Something's gone horribly wrong. Robbie failed to transmit a data packet to my user. He must have been corrupted. So young. So many cycles left. Alright. Some corruption over here. Serious. Alright. Just lean. Okay. The only way out is up through here. Definitely cannot jump this. In the next sector, there is an archive bin that contains a subroutine that will enable you to jump higher. This way, user. This way? This way. Um, I wanted to look real quick at F1. So yeah, there's some... Got a bad block because I got hit by the corruption person there. This memory block must be defragmented before it can be used by a separate team. How do I do that again? I'm pretty sure they'll tell me. This, in fact, defrag. There's a bad block of system memory. Drag a bad block into the under the procedural icon and press F1 to start dragging. Can I just do that? Okay. All right. Locate the archive bin and retrieve the subroutine stored inside. Yes. Was eight. Why amp? Alpha subroutine. Subroutine is a self-contained little program. There's a little one that can be installed in your system memory. There are three families of subroutines: combat, defense, and utility. So, combat subroutines can modify primitives into a wide range of unique weapons. Defense subroutines can add varying degrees of armor protection, and utility ones are for additional capabilities. For example, why amp the utility summary subroutine will enable you to jump higher. Basically makes your Y axis here. Alright, so we're looking for uh, one of those archive bins. Nobody over there. Down, I'm guessing. Bad block successfully repaired. Awesome. Okay. Ooh. 
Hello. We got a build point. There's some refill stuff down there. Um, you're an enemy? No, you're a civilian. How do I get platforming in 3D? Awesome. Should I go in this way? Nope. Force field. I'm gonna have to jump across or go down. I suppose I could try going down. Let's get that over here first. Oh, system error. Greetings, program. My name what? is Rami. Please, oh. me. I have an important package to deliver. There's an email and permission eight, which I don't have yet. Can I do both at the same time? Yes, I can. Email award announcement to all personnel from management. We are thrilled to announce that our very own Mr. Alan Bradley has been awarded the highly coveted International Academy of Intelligent Intelligence Artificiales Digital Pal Award for his latest iteration of Mathria. Please join us and Mr. Bradley in the employee lunchroom as we proudly present him the award certificate. Congratulations, Mr. Bradley, senior manager. Mission eight. That's a long way down. That's not down. Uh, did I get over there? Oh, there's like a bridge down that way. Okay. It's worth going across. I don't know. I don't think I can do this from this side. And that's going to block. No, oh, maybe not. Yeah, that's a civilian down there. I think that's... Was that Rami talking to me? Hmm. Alright, let's go down the ramp. Might be a little safer. Um. Deactivate the bridge. Nice. Hey. You are welcome. Alright, so this has stuff in it. There's the Y amp and the blaster primitive. Yes, please. If I walk away from these while I'm downloading. Then it interrupts the Some transfer. Augmented programs base abilities when loaded. Ow! Hey! Up. <laughs> okay, that's empty now. And that guy's got a range on him. He dead. Okay. He rezzed. Is it possible to switch back? So escape the sector, uh, install the YM subroutine, press F1 and jump onto the ledge leading to the exit. Oh, look at all these. Okay, so I have to put this into my, I have to load this in here somewhere, right? Height, jump height is increased by 15. This is the alpha, okay. So I can get upgrades for this even. So this takes up three. Let's see. Can I move it? That no. But I can work on defragging. And there was room for this up here. Put it there. 
So I have to pick my upgrades carefully. Um, as far as combat, can I get my disc back? I might like that a little better than this blaster. All right, I got a defrag going there in the upper right. Did I, or did I not install the... Is that my upgraded jump? Okay, if you say so. Can I go this way? That block successfully repaired. Let's get some more cleared out here. Anybody else? Anybody else need a blasting? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yikes. Uh, whoa. Jeez. Please. thing. Profiler, alpha subroutine. Okay. I must have used up the blaster. Or maybe I just don't have the energy for it. Ooh. 100% corrupt. Build state alpha. Gives you the ability to receive vital information from targeted programs. Oh, like their health and stuff. Okay. So, disinfect? Okay, and let's clear that. So I have somewhere to put it. What's this one do? Converts an incompatible subroutine into one that the system can use. Who does have the energy for it? <laughs> Are you going to sleep? <laughs> Alright. Sneak, sneak. Oh. What are we doing? Yep. Thanks, program. I was afraid my subroutines were going to become infected. Follow me to the exit. Rami. Oh, we did disinfected the profiler. Nice. During your missions, you'll encounter memory enemy programs that who may corrupt your system memory. Okay, so this is explaining the defrag and disinfect. Okay. Procedurals are system programs that help you manage subroutines. Got to disinfect a subroutine and disinfect analyzes a subroutine and filters out corrupt code. Oh, uh, night, I make. By the way, defrag repairs a bad block of system memory, freeing it up for subroutine use. Port converts an incompatible subroutine into one that your system can use. To port a foreign subroutine, drag it into the port procedure. Okay. To install a subroutine, click on it with the left mouse button and drop it into an empty slot with another mouse click. Once it is installed, press F1 to enable this. To quickly install or uninstall a subroutine, right click on the subroutine. Note the space available in system memory is unique to each system environment. Powerful systems will have the most segments available to install subroutines while low end systems. Least free. Prior to entering a new system, you'll be asked to reconfigure your subroutines. Sure. Okay. Which way do I go? Alright. Oh, I can get up here now. Nice. Message. Reunited 
with a bite and budge. Okay. I wanted to see what's over here, though. I might regret it, but... Ooh! Infinite energy! Is there a health? I could use a health. Uh, the profiler, I already have it, so I don't need to download it again. Let's get this email. Award announcement. Evidently, Mr. Bradley is not available to attend the award presentation. For those who are interested, a copy of the award certificate will be featured in the next company newsletter. Because he's missing? Or... Like, are these emails current? Ah. That, that was the exit, apparently. Colonel's command deck. Primary ICP domain. Colonel, system scans indicate partitions 5 through 32 are infected. Block all right access privileges and send in more intrusion countermeasure programs. Yes, sir. Have you isolated the source? Not yet, sir. However, we've picked up the signature of an authorized program in the sector. Probably me. Quarantine and bring the program to me immediately. <laughs> so what are you exactly? A bit? A bit. Ha! I'm a bite. But three, I wouldn't send a simple bit to do a bite job. Let me tell you, mister. Shh. Uh, investigate the strange noise, find Mithria and protect her from the corruption. Login failed. I'm unauthorized. What are you? Okay. Uh, displace targets, name, and health. I can work that in. Let's defrag these. Okay, but what are you? Oh. You're a Roomba? Where are you? Code Optimization Wear. A code optimization wear is a device that scans the digital universe looking for code to optimize. Code optimization wares can also be used to optimize your subroutines, increasing their effectiveness and making them smaller, thus allowing you to store more subroutines in your system memory. If you're ready, one, approach it and press the action key. Okay. I would, oh, okay. So drag something here and it'll make it more optimized. Now it only takes up two slots instead of three. Sweet. So I could tuck it into like here. Nice. 21%. You do not have the proper permission set to enter the power stream control sector. Follow me. Okay. So this? Yeah, I don't have permission here. So, find missing permissions of power stream control sector, help file. Yeah, I, I did this thing. Uh, subroutines have three different optimization states. Alpha, beta, gold. Oh! I just upgraded my Y amp to a uh, beta. Gold or fully optimized require only one memory slot. Right? So that's why it's green now. Because it's a beta. I can jump even higher than I could before. Nice. Hey, there's some uh, upgrade stuff. Oh. Let's get rid of that. Alright. And collect this. So there were two more of those I could have found in the last section of the game. I only got one of them. This looks like a bad. Deactivate Sec Rezor. Ooh. Security, I'm guessing? A sec Rezor is an advanced security device and are commonplace throughout the digital universe. When an illegal program is detected, nearby security programs, aka intrusion countermeasure 
countermeasure programs, ICPs, will activate a sec reser to res in additional ICP programs for support. Possible to deactivate a sec reser only if you have the correct permissions. I don't have the correct permissions. Where did where did Byte tell me to go? Am I supposed to go that way? I go this way. I don't have that permission. A bad block repaired, so I can put this there. That's about as efficient as this will get, probably. All right, so I don't think I need to avoid this. It's just I don't want to let one of the enemies get to it. Let's download this email. Subject, send me your resume. It's from June. Look, son, I know you have a problem with working at the same company as your old man, but I've heard that the games division is looking for an entry-level programmer. It doesn't pay very well, but it's a foot in the door. They call Perhaps me after there. a few months. They call me there. They call me there. They call Welcome. Me there. So Thanks for the follow. Playing Tron 2.0 today from the actual disc. It's one of the rare ones I have on my shelf that actually plays on my current system. And I haven't played it since 2003 or 2004, whenever I got it and it came out. But welcome, and thanks for the follow. <laughs> see. It doesn't pay very well, but it's foot in the door. Perhaps after a few months, you could switch over to R&D. Anyway, I won't co-sign for the lease on your new apartment unless you have a job. So I suggest you send in your resume immediately. Don't let pride get in the way of your better judgment. Dad. That's Alan Brady. Bradley. And uh, Mathria keeps referring to us as Alan, too. Because Alan is... Oh. Uh, Alan 1. Crouch a toggle or am I... I'm still under the thing. I'm stuck. So let's see. Oh, hey, there's a. Can I get to it from here? No. Let me out. Stuck. Crouch and back up. I'm stuck! Shouldn't be. Okay. Another email. Per your request, I checked our company handbook and there doesn't appear to be any problem with your son working here. Nothing in regards to nepotism, at least. Send his resume over and I'll get it in the system. Mary Jo, Human Resources. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Ah. Yeah, I really probably don't. Ooh, headshot. Ah. Alright, did they spawn in more? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yes, bite. Do I go in? There's a subsystem that runs beneath the main level. Look down there. Okay. You don't want me to jump, do you? Oh. Okay. Well, now it's deactivated. How do I get out? Uh. Wait. Am I supposed to push a button? Oh, do I jump across? Oh, please let me in. Okay. Oh, he's throwing like grenades. Let's see. I thought it was control. That's melee. To <laughs> Any 
somewhere down there. Use some help. Oh. Okay. I derezzed. End of line. Let's quick reload. How far back was I? Oh no! Way back in the training. All right, let's go. Just go and blasting this time. Let's get out of here, bite. things over here I could collect. I don't need any health. Hey, there's one of those I missed before. Let's get some more lore that I missed the first time. Fortunately, not everyone has updated to the new virus protection software, and as a result, an unknown virus type has entered many systems on Group 7 lab servers. We're working on the problem right now. Thanks for your patience. Sir, did I see more than one, or was it just the one? Oh, there's one way up there. It's not fall. Until further notice, do not download or update file, upload files to the central source code server. We're doing our best to quarantine the virus, but its aggressive nature is making it extremely difficult. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh no. Nah. Should have saved before I jumped out there. I get used to quick save. Quick reload. Let's go. Oh no. Get some of this back. Looking around for the upgrade points. I only got like one of the three last time. I know where two of them are now, at least. Not in here. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Let's get out of here. Gonna be a guy over here. Be right there, bite. Wait, where was it? This way. That was down the platform. Okay. And around left. All right. Quick save. My one health back. F? No? I guess 109 is close enough to full, you can't download it. Alright. Quick save. Ah, uh, no. That was the wrong button. Quick save. Just want to collect these again. There's a virus, oh no. Don't open anything. Save again. Okay, we can just go down. And the upgrade point. Okay. If that's a good guy. Something's gone horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Mommy failed to transmit a data packet to my user. He must have been corrupt. Uh, Rami. The only way out is up through here. Which I can't do yet. Gotta get my Y amp. In the next sector, there is an archive bin that contains a 
Yes. This way, user. Let me in. Locate the archive bin and retrieve the subroutine stored inside. Sure. Let me add it. Subroutines. Help files. There's stuff I already read. I don't think I have any yet. Am I corrupted? I do. I can defrag some. Alright, um... This way? There was some stuff? Rami's way over there. Hello! Oh. So there's two of the points. Two build points added to my version number. Save again. <coughs> Missed it. Greetings, program. My Hello. Please bring me. I have an important package to deliver. Yeah. Uh, one second, Rami. I missed my jump, and it hurt. <laughs> Yay, 3D platforming. Oh, 3D first-person platforming. Get those permissions and stuff. Email. The award for Mr. Alan Bradley. I remember there wasn't anything over here. Yeah, just go back the other way. Uh, this time without falling. Cool. Um... Wasn't a good reason to go this way yet. Just over there. Hey, Rami. Thanks, program. Okay, that's the stuff I need. I'm gonna fill up first. I'm pretty sure the corruption's gonna come after me. Okay. Um, my defrag done? Yep, all clear. Um, can I deactivate the bridge so they can't get to me? That's the wrong button. Looks like the answer is no. Alright, at least. Ooh, there's the third point. I got it. Version 1.1.6. 1. 1. Alright. So at least I'll be slightly shielded back here after I get these downloaded. It'll take almost half my energy. Subroutines augment a program's base abilities when loaded into system memory. Yes. So load this in here for now. Subroutine, press the F1 key to bring up the menu and right click on the subroutine in the outer ring. With the Y included, your jump height is greater. Alright, I like the disc better anyway. Am I even hitting him, you think? They're both up there. Yeah, I'm hitting them. Aha! That went a little bit better. Let's see if I can get there to get their core dump in time. Or more. Yep. Thanks. Got it. Got it. Got two energy back. Right. Coming after me. They're gonna wait down there. Ah, oh, they're coming. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. Woo. I think that's all of them now. Ooh, and that's where I got the profiler. All 
All right. This one was corrupted. We're going to put that in the disinfect procedural. And quick save. All right. I have to keep remembering to hit that F5 over and over. All right. Um, oh, Rami's down here. Hello, Rami. Thanks, How program. Are you? I was Good afraid way. my subroutines were going to become infected. Yep. Follow me to the exit. Okay. Um, energy first. Unlimited power. And we'll save. Uh huh. Here we go. You can barely make that jump with the upgrade. Um two more build points added to the virgin number. Nice. Um, I already have the profiler, I'm not going to download that. Waste the energy. Mr. Bradley's not available. Um, quick save. Ah, and then this is the exit. So I've got my points. Um, is this still running? Or is it done? I guess it's done. Put that in. It is compatible, right? I don't have to do the wording thing. All right, let's go. Escaped corrupted sector. If we can skip that, maybe. No. Kernel system scans indicate partitions 5 through 32 are infected. Block all right access privileges and send in more intrusion countermeasure programs. Yes, sir. Have you isolated the source? Not yet, sir. However, we've picked up the signature and unauthorized program in the sector. Quarantine and bring the program to me immediately. Alright. So what are you exactly? A bit? A bit. Ha! <laughs> I'm a bite. Mathria wouldn't send a simple bit to do a bit, bite please. job. Please. Let me tell you, mister. Shh. And... Quick say. Investigate the noise. This thing. So let's upgrade the Y amp again. Sweet. Put it up there. Hey! It's Joe, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for claiming posture check. Switch back into the game. Then hold on, Joe. I didn't realize I didn't start the chat button. Hey Joe, what do you know, Joe? Yeah, the whole thing pauses when I tab it out of the game. We're playing Tron 2.0. Disc 1 is in the disk drive right now. Alright, bot's online now. So we just upgraded our Y amp to from what alpha to beta. So 30% increase in jump. You do not have the proper permission set to enter the power stream control sector. Follow me. Yeah. Need permission one, is that? This is supposedly something I read said they were they were planning on making this the direct sequel of the movie. This is after the first movie, 21 years after the first movie, but before Tron Legacy came out. The second movie? Oh, the help files I didn't read. I've been through all this. I forgot to hit the save button. It doesn't automatic checkpoint. You have to hit a five. Do a quick save all the time. So this one I'm playing as 
Alan Bradley's son. Alan is the original Bradley. author of the Tron security program. Whereas Tron Legacy was about Flynn and his son. So this is the email about Alan 1 getting Alan 2 a job at NCOM. Oh, the sec resers. Don't want to mess with those. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons, too. Is there another? Yes. Can't deactivate them right now. And the ICPs are the intrusion countermeasure programs. So they're technically good guys, but they see me as uh, an intrusive program, so you want to get rid of me. Another email. Per your request. Beans didn't work? Or did I just not hear it? Which Streamlabs chatbot. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I didn't hear the beans. Sorry. Hold up. Hold up. My window's wrong now. Everything resizes too whenever I change stuff here. Okay. So we got a guy coming down here. Hey, joke. Numbers 19 and 20 got into a fight. 21. Wait. Let's uh, crouch and sneak. Sneak, sneak. Very sneaky, sir. You saw me. Oh, headshot. Yeah, I heard the badum ching on that one. Okay. So, oh. So there's something down there. That runs beneath the main level. Look down there. So I could see the subsystem down there, but when I went in here, there's a force field. I gotta get to that switch and deactivate it, I guess. And to get to that switch, I go through here. When I jumped down there last time, the green stuff killed me right away. So first, let's quick save. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm supposed to jump down. What the heck, we quick saved. Oh, I'm gonna just walk out here? I thought I had to jump last time. I'd rather not. Where'd you go? There you are. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so did that stuff kill me last time, or was I just that low health and I didn't realize it? Oh, hi! Ow! Oh, I got him. Yikes, okay. Sweet. Okay, uh, anybody in here? Nope, there's a build point. Prep for Wednesday, you might finish Real Mist. Nice. Such a cool game, Mist. Okay. More platforming, yay. Is there anything good down there? Any secrets? I don't think so. Just, uh, don't fall. Quick save. Made a jump. <laughs> Quick save. Heard somebody. That didn't look good. Oh, 
Close but off on the sounds to get the rocket hook. I can't lower the force field because I don't have the permission. I'm gonna find the permission. There's some energy in a build point. I don't need any energy. Use a little bit of health. One more build point token to find. Let's uh, crouch through here. I bet this is our thing. Fuzzy signature. It looks like some kind of special boots. Would be helpful. It doesn't really tell you what it is unless you get it. Five build points added to version number. Found missing power stream control. Da -da -da -da. What did I? Oh. Which button did I push? Do a quick switch there. Fuzzy signature silences the movement sound generated by running, walking, and crawling. Okay. We can fit that here. Um. Boop -boop -boop. And now I can. Ah, let's fill up on energy. Okay, now I have the permission for this, and that's also the permission I needed upstairs. We must keep moving. Just keep moving. There's some up here now. No. Frames processing. What? Yes. They're saying it was me. Quick save. All right, so I missed one of the build points. Let me just take one more quick look around. I don't necessarily want to 100% this, but it would be nice to have every, every resource I can get going into it, going into the end of this. Um, hmm. It wasn't back there. I already got one over here. It wasn't up here. There wasn't much walking around needed up here. So maybe it is forward through the door. Not seeing them hidden in any corners over here. Jeez, I hope they didn't hide it down here. Oh. Okay, nope. Nope, nope. F5, save. Let's hop out. Boing, boing. Um, I just checked down there. Wasn't back there. Let's continue on. Back up this way. Wait, can I get up there? Are they sneaking? Hit it way up high. Maybe I could platform up these boxes a little bit. Do some parkour. Parkour. Probably not. that I can see anyhow. But like up there is about the only place I could think that they might have hidden one unless it's further forward into the level. Let's save and open the door. Anybody in there? Oh, hi, civilian. Uh oh. The source of the corruption. Now, I am not. Expected. These programs believe you are the source of the corruption. <laughs> That's rather funny. Actually, come. You are not safe here. We must find the service <laughs> exit port. Okay. Look okay, and enter the exit port. All right. Do you believe this corruption? More and more Z-Lots are popping up. 
There goes the neighborhood. But what the hell's causing it? The Colonel has issued instructions to watch for an unauthorized program in this sector. That's probably the source of the corruption. There's only one thing I hate more than Zelots, and that's unauthorized viral code. I'll de res him on the spot. Code your circuits. The Colonel wants the program quarantined and brought in for interrogation. Yes, the Colonel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Somehow I wasn't expecting them to come this way. Got him. Yes, cower before me. Can you tell me how to get to the access port? The exit port. The exit port is located Lenny? the power stream. Getting across is impossible. The auto exit is broken. You'll need to cycle the power stream manually. Don't get too close to the power streams. Got it. Don't cycle power stream to far coupling. Okay. A build point in here? I'd like my build point, please. So don't get too close. But what do I do? This way. Huh? Sneak, sneak. Mega bites. Lean and walk. Like a build point. What is that blap 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 noise? Bad red guys? Somebody else? Just my build point. I got all four of those. Oh hey! Back door. area bigger than I expected, or what? What's happening in here? Something up there. Okay, let's save and jump. They're like, save before you get into combat, and I'm like, no, save before I do the 3D platforming. See? See? Jumped right over it. Just a smidge, and... Search the archive bin. Permission 4, I don't have that yet. And... Some unknown subroutine. Sure. Save before I do something SMRT. <laughs> So what I get? Pushed F1 instead of F1. What did I get? A defensive subroutine. It's an unknown subroutine. Must be ported before it can be used, so let's do that. Convert it into something I can use. So one and four is how I switch between my blaster and my uh disc <laughs> except this uses my energy up quick kind of like the kind of like the disc anyway smrt is death in croatian oh submask What's that do? Base energy is none. It's head armor. I could, I could use some of that, I guess. For now. <laughs> so the way out is this way, that way. Oh, there's another email down there. How interested in the lore am I? Where does this go? I think that's actually the way I'm supposed to go to get to the energy thing. All right, more platforming. Oh, hi. Back up, back up, just, just a tippy tap. Uh, 
Okay. I don't have that permission yet. Let's get it. I don't know if I'll need it. Blue is permissions. Better remember that. And green is emails. There's a help file on that. Read. I read the suck thrusters, I promise. Uh, archive bins. Green is emails. Red is subroutines. Blue is the uh, permissions. All right. Too much. <sighs> End of line. Quick load. All right. Let's get that permission again. Uh. I think I can just kind of... Nope. <laughs> Need a death counter in this game. Uh-huh. Hello. All right, so we just walk under this one. Walk under this one. Walk under this one. Stay. Deputy hot. Download the permission. And then a quick save. And a hop. Hop, tap forward. Hop, tap forward. Okay. Um, got that one, right? Oh, oh. Again. Did I make it back up there? I don't know. I think I got that. Because that was the program I had to port, right? Maybe. Anyway, I can crouch through there or I can go up this way. Did he call more? He might have. Ouch. So the disc does ricochet. Come back. Is that everyone? I think that was all of them. Get some of this back. Oh, hey. Feels like a trap. <laughs> ah! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ow. Some health back again. Whatever's left in this. Okay. Um, can I hit this now? Cool. Stop executing escape routine. <laughs> no, I think I will continue executing escape routine, please. Deactivate this? Do I have the permission? I do! Aha! Uh -huh. So I deactivated that, so hopefully they don't keep respawning. Feels like a trap, then surprise when it turns out to be a trap, yeah. Right? Anybody in here? Yeah. Cool. This email. Let's 
So to Alan from Patrick, got to meet your boy Jet today, a fine young man. He aced the programming test and everyone seems to like him. I didn't see a bit of that attitude problem you keep mentioning. I've got a slot on the Space Paranoids 3D team. That's a great fit. Space Paranoids. I rewatched the movie this weekend before playing this. Space Paranoids was the game, one of the games that Flynn invented that um, the guy who became senior executive of the corporation stole from him. And that's why Flynn wanted to get back into the company, was to, to get evidence of the, the theft. Hey. Uh, and, oh, that's Lenny. I'm back here. Okay. Let's go under that beam. Hello. If you have packages Ferdinand. to transport, you better hurry. The exit port is scheduled to go active soon. Okay. So is it just time to go? Exit ports. An exit port functions as a gateway to the network, allowing travel between the components, all of the components that make up the digital universe to enter and exit port walk directly into the beam. It's like the plot of Free Guy. <laughs> well, yeah, Flynn went in to try and get the... Um, went in to try and get evidence that the guy had stolen his program. Meanwhile, Alan, my character now's dad, had written the Tron program, which was a security program that was supposed to look for suspicious activity at all. And... The master control program was the artificial intelligence that was like reading the Pentagon and Kremlin's files by this point to try and take over the world. And so Alan and uh, the lady running the laser project, I think her name was Laura, helped Flynn break in and they all work together, but then Flynn got digitized and sent into the digital world, and it was a whole thing. Just watch the movie. Exit port, okay. Is it this way? You're green now. Are you supposed to be green? Ferdinand? Um, I have all my build stuff. Yes, I go. Port activated. Okay. Port activated. Illegal program detected uh -oh. in exit port sector. Oh, no. protocol fields raised. That's not good. So deactivate quarantine protocol fields. Quarantine protocol. In the event an unauthorized or corrupted program attempts to use the system's exit port, quarantine countermeasures are put into place. Without a direct order from the colonel to stand down, the quarantine cannot be lowered. However, it is possible to override the four control bits located in small rooms surrounding the exit port's entrance. Exit entrance. Override a control bit. Just walk up and push F. Hold F until the bit is destroyed. Oh. Also indicated by the... Okay. I just gotta hold it. Where'd you go? 10 energy. I'm sorry, bit. Oh, hi, guy. Additional quarantine protocol field raised. Additional one raised. Is he coming this way? Oh, hi. Activating security resin station. Shoot. Was there three of them? Ouch. Okay. Yeah, Tron made no sense to me, like, the first time I watched it. Or when I watched it when I was younger. Oops, I didn't save a few back. All right. Deactivate. Save.
Guess I just leave. Port activation approaching. Cool. Let's go talk to was it Ferdinand? If you have packages okay. to transport, you better hurry. The exit port is scheduled to go active soon. Port like a activated. health refill, my I man? Illegal program detected in exit port sector. Quarantine protocol field Two. raised. Ouch. Freeze, bro. Oh no. Need some help. Dang it. Where did I save last? Okay. Let's do it after the transfer this time, maybe, yeah? Port activation <laughs> approaching. Yes. Port Ferdinand. Bye, Ferdinand. Port activated. This time I'll try being a little sneaky. Illegal program detected in exit port sector. Quarantine protocol fields raised. Oh. Station. Where? I'd like to go deactivate it if I could. Whoa! Ouch. Haha, <laughs> keep trying to block them. Alright, did I save that time? I don't remember if I did. Nope. Alright. <laughs> I just went in and started running. All right, through the beam. Port activated. F5, quick save. So let's go into this Illegal window here. In oh, you saw me. Quarantine protocol fields raised. Okay. Am I not? Security, resin station. Oh shoot. Where are you? Oh, he's behind me. Dang it. Alright, so there was health way to the right. Maybe I make a beeline for that. Illegal program detected in exit port sector. Quarantine protocol fields raised. Then I just started blasting. Alright. Refill. Activating security resin station. Cool. And some of this. Where's the station? And can I destroy it? Aha! Hello. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Great. Too many. Dead. I suppose I could also switch to easy mode. It's a thing. Illegal program detected in exit port sector. Let's try not to get hit by this guy this time. Okay, just keep moving. Get the quarantine. Ah! I tried dodging in my actual seat. <laughs> okay, where is the resin station? I wanted to go deactivate it. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, hi guys. They hurt. I'm guessing the resin is in here somewhere. Okay, um. That's the port I'm trying to get to. I forget which of the bits I already destroyed. I think it was one.
Additional quarantine protocol field raised. Cool. Email, sure. Also, let's save. Don't worry, Jet's doing fine. He's more than pulling his weight on the uh, Space Paranoid's 3D team. In fact, I'm bumping him up to lead programmer on the next file. Title. There's also a level 6 programming position opening up in R&D a few months, so it'd be perfect. Oh, save, by the way. Okay, um, still Activating keeping an eye out. Security resin station. Yeah, I heard. Ouch. There it is. Deactivated it. Wow, there you are. Gotta keep moving. Keep saving. Ow. Where? Okay. So, two? Is this one that I got? I already got two. I'm gonna find one, three, and four? Yeah, just keep swimming. Please keep swimming. Some, I don't need the energy, apparently. Three? I got three, okay. I got one and three, or two and three. There's the security res in the station, there's four. There's some subroutines. Okay. Um, primitive charge and submask. I already have submask. Quick save. What's this one do? That's oh, corrupted, but increases damage of the disc, rod, ball, and mesh primitives. Yes, please. Let's uncorrupt that thing. Okay, so that was four. Please don't tell me I have to dis... Okay, that's still deactivated. Um, that's where I came in. So one? Yes. Let's take this out. And see what happens. I should lower all the containment fields. Quarantine protocol measures offline. Sweet. Colonel notification. Quarantine failure. Ah! Somebody over there. I saw you. Can I just get in? Yes! <laughs> Must be Pearl Scripts. Oh! Uh -oh. That just set me under the colonel deck. <laughs> well, okay then. Query index 224-C. Unauthorized use of resources. Program quarantine and connection to spreading virus. User unknown. State your origin. You're making a big mistake. Mistake? Reveal your creation date before I disassemble your code one operation at a time. Well, I was born in 82. Impossible! You are That's when Tron came out. From that period. You have been accused of spreading a viral agent through the system. What is the intended goal of this sabotage? I'm not responsible for that virus. Enough! Who is your user? I am a user. Blasphemy! Prisoners, put the prisoner in a field. Wait, you can't do this. I'm a user. Find Mithria. I'm trying to help her. Mithria? Hmm. Let the log files show prisoner refused to cooperate and is considered incompatible. Schedule him for immediate de-resolution. Colonel, put him on the grid. The grid. Interesting promise. The grid. I guarantee it'll be a race you won't forget. 
Of course, referring to the game grid. The, uh... The game grid was uh, all the programs that the master control program didn't want in uh, in the movie. The master control program didn't want them. Then it would put put those programs onto the game grid to fight gladiatorial style. Um, yep, the uh, light cycles. They've entered a new system with different memory requirements. Please reconfigure your subroutines. All right. Vaporware is the new thing here. So I do want my jump. I really liked that. Um, that's too... See the profiler, so I know who I'm talking to. That's kind of nice to have. I mean, these will all fit just fine. Primitive charge. Yes, better weapons. Alright. Find Mithrian Protector from the Corruption. <clears throat> Learn about life cycles before competing on the game grid. Hey, look at it. It's right there. Alright, it took my disc away. Programs Cody, Skate, and Jet. Prepare to enter Grid Arena 1. There's stuff up there to download. Ooh, kill points. Yes, please. Okay, so there's a door over there. It's back here. Security lockers. Oh. Do not have the required permissions for any of these yet. Um, more security lockers? What are you? Okay. Hello. Who are you? Elmer? Nice to meet you. Looks like a chair of some kind. Alright, what are these? Oh, permissions? Don't mind if I do. And an email. To Nick from Olivia, worried about my job. Boy, the mood around here is pretty awful. I heard that the CFO is in deep trouble for misallocation of funds. First the internet bubble burst, and now this? I heard that Gibbs Jr. is putting the company up for sale. You know any good headhunters? Olivia. Okay, permission, permission. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Save. Before I forget and have to go back to that last fight. <sighs> the good old days when you had to manually save. It's the only way to do it. Hello! Here's your rod primitive. Once on the grid, activate it to res in your light cycle. Uh, thank you for handing me my rod. It's textures, rotations, loading everything in. Install complete. So is this something I can... No, there's not a quick key for it. It's probably not in here. Oh, I forgot about this. Yes. Armor. I need armor. I missed a... Uh... Shoot, what screen again? Is that another email? <clears throat> oh, I don't have permission for it. Where else? Four, four. Oh, not found. Okay. Um, so I'm supposed to prepare to enter the grid. However, I cannot find the grid. What's in there? There. That uh, it. There. Life cycle game grid two way thing. Okay. So I'm supposed to learn about the light cycles. Can I open any of these now? 
No, no, no. But on the other side. Nope, nope, eh, almost. Absolutely not, okay. I'm supposed to compete on the grid. Do I go talk to, what's his name up there? Wolfgang. Excuse me, um, you're not the person to talk to. This looks like a data port. Right, let's go talk to the guy over that way. Yeah, he's ready to talk now. I wonder where Bit or Bite went. To learn how to operate a life cycle, please enter the data stream. Wait while I open the port. Thank you, Elmer. So is this tutorial or? Thanks, Elmer. Training. Here we go. First, the basics. Okay. Light cycles travel at a default speed and cannot be stopped. Tutorial. To steer your light cycle, use the right and left strafe keys. Don't hit your own tail. To accelerate, press and hold the move forward key. Releasing the key returns the speed back to default speed. Which is this. To decelerate, press and hold the move backward key. Releasing the key returns the speed back to default speed. Okay. Got it. An added speed boost is gained when near an opponent's light cycle trail. Use camera zoom and camera rotation keys to control oh. camera position. Here, please just Use leave it the there. light cycle camera toggle to switch between tracking and manual camera control. And which one is that again? Semicolon. It's not uncommon to find power-ups on light cycle grids. To okay. pick up a power-up, steer your light cycle over the icon. Use the fire button to activate a power-up once it is acquired. Note that power-ups are only good for one use. Speed zones. Indicated by colored areas on the grid, alter the speed of the light cycle. Feel free to practice controlling your light cycle. When finished, steer your light cycle over the exit icon. Shield break acquired. Okay. Where's the exit? Over there. We got some of the speed zones here. Yeah, that slows you way down. Let's get another turbo boost. Turbo boost acquired. Uh, yeah, the camera angle thing is a little weird. Pretty six hundred. Hey, Glass. This is Tron 2.0. This came out in 1993. No, 2003. Feel free to practice racing against these opponents. When finished, steer your light cycle over the exit icon. All right. So this is an actual disc that I had to put in to run. All right, um, yikes. Oh, shield break, I thought I had turbo boost. All right, I got one. <laughs> I 
I need to find Marlin. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, it's Nostalgic November. So I'm playing... Can I get him? Not quite. Ah, I got him. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, they put two more in. Yeah. I wanted to try streaming um, Heroes of Might and Magic 3, but I was having trouble with OBS. Let's get out of here and maybe do some real training. All right. Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Programs scheduled for grid competition are to enter Light Cycle Arena immediately. Yes. That'd be to learn hard. how to operate a light cycle, please enter oh. the data stream. No, I did. I open the port. There's somebody to talk to. Oh, and build points. Nice. Lenny? Where do I go to start the race? Follow me. Uh. Actually, I want to explore and get my build points first. Should have just done that before talking. Where was that other one? I can see it from down there. Oh, excuse me, Lenny. Wasn't there another one? Oh, it's up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I had to figure out how to get the square to work in, uh, like, how to transform and stuff. That's something I'd never done before. So to get it in the original resolution was a bit of a, some experimenting. And then I wasn't sure if it was even going to work with, like, once I got into combat and everything, would the controls and everything work. So far, it's been pretty good. Um, two more build points at some point. Just don't think they're here yet. Let's peek into here one more time. Nope. All right. Whoops. Hold up. Have I... No, I don't have enough of anything to change these up. All right. <laughs> Enter the data stream to start the race. Yeah, okay, Lenny. Thank you. All right, so this one is a for real. That's the other thing with this old game. You have to keep hitting... Um, there's a quick save button. Or you can just do, like, a save game. And I keep forgetting to quick save. So I kept losing a lot of progress. All right, Cody and Skate. All right, shield break. Ah. Whoa, hey, Cody. That's ah, Skate. Oh. I didn't even see Cody coming there. Whoops. Yes, retry the light cycles. I think they made it to where you can, like, just skip this if you don't want to play it. But of course, I want to play it. Haha, <laughs> got one. Got Cody. Alright. I just have to find the exit without running into the walls. Oh, there it is. So I won my first race. Yeah, they did teamwork me. Light cycles level one completed. Prepare for your next light cycle race by talking to other programs in the staging area. Right. Let's see if I can get some more permissions and stuff. Programs Jet, Sin, Frog, and Krom prepare to enter Grid Arena 2. 
four of us this time. Are you going to wager or what? Hold on, I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Let's listen. Hey, program, do you have any insight yeah. on which racer will win the next heat? Me. I can't remember the racing minigame. <laughs> um, <clears throat> which one am I again? Can't go wrong with, uh, was I blue? Can't go wrong with the red racer. I'll be right. The race is almost over. You're not down to two racers, and what a round this has been. Okay, red is hugging the wall, blue is doing the same. They're hurtling for each other at top speed. Only one will come out of this victorious. My friends, this is life cycle racing at its finest. Red banks, red, blue wins. What a race. I finally placed this voice to these guys. Their voice reminds me of the narrator from um, Trivia Murder Party, Jackbox. Oh, man, I hope you're better on the grid than you are choosing winners. <laughs> Let's see who wins this game. Hello, Lorenzo. Hey, okay, no talking? Sure. Ajax. Corruptic. So I still don't have permissions, any new ones yet. Nothing new in that box. Hey, build point. Just one more to get all of them. Socket scan? You're real good out there. But properly equipped, I'm betting you can go the distance. Take this permission and access the security lockers. I think you'll like what you find in there. I've got a lot riding on you, program. All right. I have received a permission. Find the accessible security locker and retrieve the new. Okay. What'd you get me? Hey. Super light cycle rod. Programs nice. scheduled for grid competition are to enter light cycle arena immediately. But I, I, I want to keep looking around. Oh, hi. Corruptic. Um, and I still don't have permissions to these yet. What else we got? You got anything new? No. Still not gonna talk to me, huh? Just wanna explore around enough to satisfy my curiosity. Any of these open? No. Bike upgrade, oh yes. All right, I guess we get going. Wait, can I parkour? Somewhere cool. And I can't really get on top of these boxes. All right, then. I guess we continue forward. Which was this way. Habadoo. Game two. Crop hunt. Yeah. I'm getting a little trapped here. Well, somebody already took someone out. Oh. Uh, up. I'm gonna go up. Look like they've got a shield break on. Um. And where is? Oh, I'm I'm done. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> Prepare for your next life cycle race by talking to other programs in the staging pit. 
Alright, so that was race two. Hopefully there's more build points this time. Art. Programs land, jet, 2D, and Mercury. Prepare to enter Grid Arena 3. Mercury is the one who suggested to Colonel to put me in here in the first place. I don't have any new permissions for that. Oh, can I open that box yet? Did that permission get me in there? It did. Another email. Red Rover, come on over. One step ahead of you. Oh, wait. Worried about my job, Olivia. From Nick, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already sent my resume out to three companies this morning. A merger is never a pretty sight, especially for the home team. If Gibbs Jr. does indeed sell the company, I bet half of us get laid off. I can't take that chance. I've got two dogs and an expensive car to worry about. By the way, can I have my stapler back? Um, it's a red swing light. Red competition are to enter light cycle arena immediately. But I wanted to talk to people. Calliope? Hey, you're a talker. Eduardo. For the record, you have a 1.19e to the minus 7 <laughs> chance of winning. Mercury has never been defeated. Okay. Never tell me the odds, kid. Uh, someone to talk to up there. Oh, the last build point over there. Sweet. Upgrade time. What do I want to put this into? Health is nice. Um, well, no, I need it. Maybe weapon efficiency. Oh, that one's up here. What's processor do again? Speed at the defrag disinfectant port procedures work. Okay. Let's upgrade weapon efficiency a few times. Um, and yeah, health. We'll get the other stuff next time. Most of these aren't even mattering this level because it's all the light cycles. All right, there were other people to talk to. Who are you? Impressive oh, Art. Racing. Keep it up. Maybe well, thanks, race, Art. You can give me a few pointers. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> after the race, you'll be history. Thanks, Art. Art.exe makes me think of, um, like paint or something. Ah, that's weird. Oh, you're gonna let me go into practice mode again, aren't you? Is oh, Clippy. Really that good? Is a beta version buggy? <laughs> She's the undisputed light cycle champ. Those bikes move in straight lines, but somehow Mercury manages to run circles around everyone. All right. All right. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Unhydrate. <coughs> Too much hydrate. Down the wrong pipe. Circles study, see. <laughs> Flawless victory. Oh, is that what we're doing? Game over. Thanks, Joe. She's gone crazy. One of the observation towers is collapsing! Now she's- What? Jeff, do as I say and don't ask questions. Hurry, and make your way to the far side of the grid arena. Escape the arena by using the ramp made of debris. Do it now. Okay. <clears throat> this will only take a minute. So where do I go? Nope. Holy crap, it's complicated in here. Oh. 
I didn't realize the other racer was still there. <laughs> Let's try it again. Welcome to the Light Cycle Racing Finals. In this double elimination <clears throat> match, Jed and Lan are squaring off on one side of the arena, while Mercury and Tooney are on the other side. The winners will meet in the middle to decide the ultimate victor. Wait, that was a dumb... What is Mercury doing? She's gone <laughs> crazy! Yes, Ramp of Debris. <clears throat> Welcome to the Light Cycle Racing Finals. In this double elimination match, Jed and Lan are squaring off on one side of the arena, while Mercury and Tooney are on the other side. The winners will meet in the middle to decide the ultimate victor. Wait. I got Lan. What is Mercury right. doing? She's gone crazy! One of the yeah, this way. Is collapsing. Now she's... <clears throat> Okay. But here comes yellow. Um, sweet, got him. All right, now we need to find the debris. There it is. Cinematic. <laughs> uh oh, I'm having trouble with my rod. Hello, Jet. Mercury, you're... Uh, yes, I am. Then you're not half bad on the grid. Uh, thanks. I heard you mentioned Mathria. My user sent me to help her. Who's your user? I don't know. Goes by the name of Guest. <laughs> uh, we should get out of here. How did you know I could hold my own out there? I didn't. So that's... I'm going to mispronounce her name. Rebecca Ramian Stamos? She, vo she was um, Mystique in the original X-Men movies. Is it true? What you said about being a user? So you believe me? <clears throat> there is something special about you. Come with me. I want to show you something. Yes. It's a little trick I learned that may come in handy. Okay, save. What am I doing? <clears throat> uh, you can take out enemies quietly using the rod primitive. It's oh. most effective when used against an enemy unaware of your presence. To activate, press and hold the fire button. If you have a nice. signature subroutine, this would be a good time to install it into your system memory. Yeah. Test out the rod primitive on the ICP regular. Refer to help file more, more information. Help file, please. Yes. Rod primitive. Derivative of the handlebar used to power up light cycles. Rod primitive or P rod. A prod. Is it can also be used as a stealth base weapon. For best results, first ready the weapon. Approach an enemy without being detected, then press and hold fire. All right. What else I got? Oh, all the light cycle stuff. All right, let's save. Ooh, fancy. All right, so what am I doing? Sneaking up on somebody? Oh. Permissions. Oh. Um. So, crouch and sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh. I think it uses up energy though. So see there was somebody over there. And sneak, sneak, sneak. Energy's nice. What do we need to do, Mercury? We need to get your disc back. That means ah. getting inside the Colonel's observation tower. It won't be easy, but I have a plan. Access the Colonel's observation tower and retrieve the disc. What's your plan? 
I'm going to access this command buffer to learn more about how this system works. In the meantime, make your way to the processing level. I'll contact you later with more information. Okay. Prisoner cell areas right through that door. Use this permission key to activate the bit controlling the door out of here. I have received a permission in access to the processing level. Yes. Yes. So stealth Prisoner level. Prisoner Rami routed to oh, bin cell one zero zero one zero one one zero. <laughs> oh, there's a thing. Hold up. Can't reach it. Yeah, search it. Oh, it's right there. Give me that permission. Forgot how that worked. Cool. Why is there a help file again? Oh, finders. Are patrolling security devices searching for illegal programs? If an illegal program is detected, the finder will notify a nearby ICP guards prior to targeting the program with its deadly laser cannon. Awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, it's up there. Uh, where? Where's the anomaly? Unknown subroutine. Sure. Ow. It sees me. some health. Run through here. Save. Save. Activating security resin station. Oh, but why? Yes. Ah! And I missed my disc. Security resin station. Yeah. Game over. Just a bit. You lose. I don't have permission for this one. Yeah, yeah, I lose, I lose. Actually, not sure how f much further there is to go here. Activating, Activating security, security resin, resin station. station. Let's deactivate and run this way this time. There's a guy. Oh. Huh? Is that all of them? Stop executing escape routine. No! I will continue to execute the escape routine. Thank you. Ah! Let's try this one more time. Activating security resin station. I like how I went around and just deactivated all of them at once. No. And then there was a guy right over here. Ouch. No. Dead. I got hit by the cannon in the butt there. Some health would be nice. Try going around this way this time. Nope, the cannon's right there. That's the wrong way to go. Yep, yep, yep. Die, die, die. Oh, I got some health. Yeah, search it. Give me the permission. I got that permission. I don't need it. Yes. Nope. I don't have permission for that. I'm not going to be able to get the cannon. I probably don't have permission to any of these, do I? Ow! No! Ooh! No point. Uh... I could 
save here. This is a bad quick save. There's a guy way over there. <clears throat> How do I get up? Activating oh, he saw me. Resin station. Execute order 66. Or, you know, maybe don't, please. Sneak up by you. Oh, cannon. <laughs> I get Alright, I'll just try this a couple more times. It's getting late. That one's deact. Guy's going to eventually see. Greens! There's some good stuff up there, maybe. If I can get up there. Okay, the program called Rami. Okay, I remember good old Rami. Can I sneak up on anybody at this point? My eight health. Are you Rami? Yes. Oh, that's Felicia. Hmm. That's energy. I'd like some health, please. Oh, that cannon. I saw it right before it shot me. <laughs> Running away with you. I miss my ranged attack. Okay, there goes the laser thing. Let's run up this way. Disable the... There's one more resin station. The illegal program is sector. Ah! Cannon was still there too. To sneak a little slower, maybe. Right. So there it goes. I do have my stuff equipped, right? My res. Fuzzy. Fuzzy boots. Slick shoes. Okay. Here. Rami? Horatio. Unauthorized use of resources to shoot. Activating security resin <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if I can just run around the corner at him. Cannon get far enough ahead. Controller there. I think that dude was around this corner. Missing him. <laughs> All right, we wait for the thing to go around the corner. Yeah, I just have the rod, that's it. Okay. All right. Shoot, he saw me. some health back. Save! Sweet.
sweet. There's hey, Rami. Program, it's me, Rami. Find the bit yes. that controls this door, and I'll get us out of here. All right. Find the bin. Okay. Did it see me? I hope not. I'm guessing we still we have to go up. There it goes. Okay. Should be safe this way for a little bit, unless there was more than one of them that I never realized. Yes, download energy, please. Ooh. Cisco? Data stream processing level one way. Um, didn't realize I was exposed there. Do I want to go that way? Gain access to the processing level. Oh, it's not activated anyway. Let's wait for the thing to pass again. I think there were some boxes I could try jumping up. Yeah, I jumped right over that guy earlier. On. There it is. Ooh. Is it gone? It is gone. How do I get up? I would like to go up. There's some boxes. Alright. Here comes the thing again. Okay. Let's go up. Hopefully it doesn't see me up here. Let's see, I don't have that permission. I don't have that permission. I'll take virus scan. Sure, it's a beta. And I already have the alpha fuzzy signature. I don't need to download that. And keep going up. By the way, let's also, for the love of everything, save. Okay, um. And keep going up. Do I need to? Keep an eye out for that bit we're supposed to find an act. Feels like I could go across some of these, but I think I'm just supposed to keep going up. Uh, Y'all know how much I love first person 3D platforming. Oh, yeah. A new subroutine. What do we get? Virus scan. Notifies you if any subroutines are corrupted before downloading them. I could see that being useful, maybe. Um, I forgot to find out what that is. All right, where's this bit? There's a whole shelf up here. Okay. All right, any people? There's an unlimited energy. It looks like a new subroutine and some else. Ow! The laser saw me. Suffusion. What do you do? Short range weapon capable of firing a deadly blast of energy pellets. Holding down the fire key longer will produce a super blast that is twice as deadly. Ooh. Really use some health. What do we got? 
peripheral seal. That looks like uh, some kind of armor. And permission three, which I also don't have yet. Going for all the permissions. And then let's go get some energy. What do you do? Defense. Yep. It's corrupted. 8% overall body protection against attacks. I could see that being helpful for me in my current state. See? more boxes and more up okay am i supposed to or can i even go up that way i don't have that much up hmm where's this bit let's find this bit Who are you oh you're just a character in a thing a cell Where's the laser thing? I don't want to get zapped again. It might kill me this time. There it goes. Oh! It's chirping. So I could hear it coming, maybe. There it goes. Dip, 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 dip toe through the tulips. Oh, I fell down. Okay, it's close. Yeah, I think the tops of those are dereser fields or whatever. Hey, okay. I was trying to look down to see if I could see the bit down that way. Control bit. What do you want about the control bits not even in this room? And there's some more up. Maybe. Not sure how I'd get there. Wait. Oh, that's just another person in there. Okay, let's crouch so the thing hopefully doesn't see us. Once it comes around the corner. There it is. You see nothing. I mean, is the bit going to be in this room? There's a control room thing over there I could look through. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think it saw me for a second there. Yep. Laser, don't hurt me. No more. Okay, it's patrolling again. Skyrim eye pops up. <laughs> ah, okay, so you take fall damage. Cool. Hey, bit. Is there health in here? I could really take a health. <gasps> There he is. Oh, glorious health. Please, sir, I would like some more. Quick saving. All right. Where's this chirper? Coming. Yep, there it is. And we go get Rami. 
unlimited power. Alright, do you remember where Rami is? Is it you? No. I'm the one with the bit in the door. Guess I could let several of these out. Yes. Now, let's get out of here. Yes, let's. <laughs> that was cute. All right. I just go. The stream is active. Until let's go. Ooh, IO node. Connecting to IO grid. Okay, here's the deal. You can use the processing platform to reach the recovery level. From there, you should be able to gain access to the Colonel's observation tower. I'm not able to send you the required permission set, but you can bypass the requirement by destroying the two encryption keys. Study this help file for more information. Node deactivated. It's me. What you got? Mission five? We got that one already. Uh let's just um what? Not that button. Quick save. Save save. Do it. For the root. Prisoner bin. Alright, I'm gonna save it here. And call it a night. Alright, this was a lot of fun. Um, I think I did a lot of this the first time I played through it, but I also kind of remember getting to the um getting to the life cycles and then just playing that. You used to be able to play online multiplayer against other people and um i think i played it with my brother some did some light cycle racing on you know shared keyboard <coughs> but anyway that's gonna be it for now let's see it's like dental floss and oma are playing played up um so we'll, we'll go check them out um Make sure you do a exclamation point visit to uh, visit their restaurant, become a customer, maybe even mess with them. I don't think you can do that. I think trick and treating is gone, but maybe Thanksgiving had something special. I can't remember. In any case, say hi, let them know I sent you and uh, tune in Wednesday for another new game. Beans. That's right, Joe. So, um, we finished up Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots last week. We'll be starting up a new game on Wednesday, so tune in. And um, in the meantime, check out my stuff on YouTube. Thank you, bot. Perfect timing. Um, I'm posting some YouTube-specific content over there, so come check it out. And I hope everybody's having fun. That's, that's my main goal not about the numbers it's not about the algorithms or anything it's about having fun so if you're having fun i'm having fun we're doing we're doing great so i'll see you next time and in the meantime remember to be kind have fun and i'll see you later hi everyone <laughs>